Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our good old uh, Saving Your Disaster campaign, this time Better Strike. I uh, reinvigorated some of the mods that the viewer was uh, using and I figured that might solve some of the problems but I really have no explanation why for instance the Covert Ops missions are not popping up that looks a bit uh, sus anyways we're up for a supply rate now and what we want to do guys is we want to finally get some money this time I think it's a real supply rate and not just a uh, g uh, cash grab so we're only fighting against Advent we're bringing kind of the prime team for classes plus our um, Reaper and I am wondering I am wondering yeah, there is a Templar available. Uh, well, well, that might change things a little bit. Hmm, that might change uh, things a little bit. We got Holo Targeting here, Untouchable, but we don't have Death from above. Uh, what are his skills? Run Gun, we got Death from above here. Did would we have another ranger? Well, all of the rangers are already bon uh, bonded. I actually like Bomber and Thunder because both of them do have Death from Above. And I'm wondering if we could use that on the mission. So, hmm. I guess a bit of an atypical decision. We're taking a non bound a soldier with death from above uh, and take them over a bound soldier as for our squad here i want to level the templar for good reasons uh, they will be very very helpful as the game goes on and i'm just hoping that the viewer will appreciate them as well the owner of that safe game i mean so Buckle up, Buttercup, it is time to go right into the center of the storm, into Operation Bone King. We want to win this one. And we have just landed. Fabulous. Okay, well, they're a clumsy patrol. My life is, you is hopefully going to go next to anything that I can blow up. Starting with our sniper. Got it covered. Putting her here. Gamble. Putting them there. Warden moves up here. And Rattler moves up there. All right. It's not a timed mission, so we don't need to hurry too much. Just got to get the right angle on these guys. Ooh. You can never escape my sight. I see one of their patrols. Interesting. No, no. Close, but no cigar. Moving as ordered. Got another truck to explode, but unfortunately, still no. Good, we're moving a bit closer. Templar moves over here. Sniper is in a decent position, but I would like to get them even closer. Rattler moves over there. And Bomba... Oh no, Bomba has death from above. Why? Come on. 
sole reason why you brought him here in the first place. Rattler moves there and Bomber moves uh, there. I'm gonna get that from above going, of course. Saiken so brings this from above. Saiken so also puts him on low ground. Sure. Okay, so, hmm. Falk says I am to obey. We're moving a little bit closer. Nowhere to hide. I found their patrol. Good, with target definition, we should be I will spotting these guys out. close enough to the actual explosion here which is great we're seeing the other packs moving away which is good as well and if you guys could stand here I would really really appreciate that hmm okay Well, I tell you what, this here would hurt. We would not uh, be hurt because the explosion, as you can see, wouldn't hit us. What I'm wondering is, shall we go for a double whammy? That would kill the sector. Hmm. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's a decent start and we're not losing concealment, so I'm all up for it. Good, an entire pack fully eradicated. Nothing is left standing after we're done with them. At least we could go to here, but that's a bit of a dangerous move. This here is better cover. Moving to Overwatch. The permanent cover now. I'm on it. This car is burning. I don't want to risk anything. I trust in your command. My watch begins. All right. Well, first pack eliminated. And we did not even break concealment. Which might change right now, because this here is going to hurt. Um, hmm. I do have an idea. A protocol on to gamble. Overwatch. I will save uh, the throwing axe for a bit later. All right, bring it on. Oh, we had threat protocol. Nice. Well, that was a very successful first interaction. 
And we had death from above, plus implacable, right? So this might be even another kill, is what I was about to say. Uh, 50 50 to get him down. Death from above triggers, which is great. I uh, even got a promotion out of it. Fantastic. So, overwatch here. We could theoretically trigger that pack, but I don't want to yet. Larium core and an advanced scope. The scope is fantastic. Um, now that would trigger move to here which does not trigger overwatch and we're good these guys should trigger long watch yep and the miss will not trigger the pack right no, it does not Alright, remote start. Killing one more. I would love to get our Templar a little bit more involved. But it just has not been the right timing here. soon going to move up I'm okay with standing in the open reload overwatch all right yeah they are the other two packs are slowly but surely moving in this hopefully will trigger the guy oh yeah it does well, see, if you're playing everything a bit by by the numbers, then the whole setup isn't as difficult. Okay. This might be a kill. Hopefully some big fat focus but unfortunately not well we got momentum out of it not perfect but it is a start no wonder that you're missing you weren't even looking into your scope Conceal in a second, not the end of the world. Bomba overwatches, and I think we're just okay here. Okay, apparently they had really good eyesight because they've spotted us from that far. Luckily our overwatch trap very much works as intended. Reloads. And we got a big fat remote start. Fantastic. 
There is another pack somewhere further down the line, and I am wondering if we're triggering it, but even if we do, well, that's okay. Finally, some more focus. Templar gets going. That's important. Bomber gets the A protocol for an extra shot. Always need to be uh, action efficient. Very nice hit. Bomber first reloads. Because we're not moving. Always reload. Then takes the shot. Unfortunately, death from above not triggered by it. Good. Death from above triggered here, which is good. We also got death from above implacable and a kill hopefully. Yep, there we go. You know that was good. confirmed. All hostiles what? Down and the area is that was already it? Okay. Um Yeah, easier than expected. I thought there were would be kind of uh, chosen or the alien ruler again. That's a bit disappointing. I was hoping for more oomph. The enemy wasn't even shooting once. Which, <laughs> given that this is... Alright. Uh, bomber, heavy ordnance. Whole targeting is great as well. Given that that is better strike, it's a bit weird. Oh yeah, Bomber can go and bond with our reaper that's good that's a really good bond Elarim course advanced scope i tell you who gets the advanced scope the heavy because as many of you know heavies do have a problem with not hitting as much and having a nice little aim as bonus is good so go bomber go bomber is a fantastic name for a grenadier good we got 150 supplies which is good uh, the first ones will go into installing a radio relay Because then we can go here and that will also trigger tactical analysis as the continent bonus. I, had high hopes for the under I don't know what oh knows means and I... Have outdone yourself. Something is not right. Yeah, something is definitely not right. More money, uh, which is helpful, but let's stick with our radio relay first. Our actions have succeeded. Cool. Unfortunately, our new skirmishers are all on... Uh, our new soldiers are all coming in at uh, squaddy rank. Improved assault rifles, that's fantastic. Rapid collection is good. Good, we're starting with this because it is just too good to not take it. And mobility onto the Templar. Which is where you would want to have it. Good, at the same time, we got our first colonel. 
<laughs> which is absolutely hilarious. Nice, and he also has return fire. Uh, that is that is hilarious. And lightning reflex is really good. Uh, that, that's not bad. Okay, let's take the most important ones first. Common presence, super important. Whiplash, super important. Uh, so I would say those are the two best abilities. Uh, Retribution, which is Bladestorm, very good. Uh, pull yourself and deliver, not as good as pull the enemy which we already have. Throwing a grenade no longer ends the turn, that's good. Extra utility slot, that is fantastic. Um, return fire, very, very good in better strike. Uh, reflex with an extra turn isn't bad either. Zero in definitely is good for some extra to hit chance. Lightning reflexes is very good. Battle Lord isn't bad. Lower disability cooldowns by one isn't bad either, specifically with uh, combat presence together. So I think we're going with manual override in this case. And... Hmm, difficult decision. We have a lot of good options here. Reckoning is sometimes, it's not bad, shot and then just moving uh, to an enemy for repositioning. Judgment is great together with return fire because not only do you shoot back, but they also can panic. So that could be a future route uh, for this character. But mobility is king, so we're just going with uh, one more pull. And we... Yeah, it's okay. Not the best combination, uh, not the best PCS as yet, but we'll get there. And we got a retaliation mission at our hands. Uh, and the enemies obviously don't want to just stand by idle. So we're going to do that next, guys, and see where it's going to lead us. Today was a uh, quick and dirty mission uh, that's going to be one of the shorter episodes thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy the saving your disaster campaigns if you do so leave a like in the comment and try to save the channel from receiving not enough views thanks and have a good one bye bye